The opinions, viewpoints, and beliefs presented on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the management, the affiliates, and broadcast partners, or the sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. everyone and welcome to the Scarefest Radio annual train wreck of a holiday episode. I Plans have changed a little bit. Uh, Jason Boyd uh, got called into work tonight. He could not be with us. Ken Bogle could not be with us. So we're down to four people and that's counting Billy Crank's forehead. Uh, apparently Florida does not have internet. That's the only thing we can figure out. Um, he occasionally, uh, his, his camera goes live. We'll just see what happens with that. Uh, the original broadcast date is, of course, December 28th, 2018. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. You can see I'm all festive, everybody. And um, and tonight is the, the episode where we come on. We'll talk some horror tonight because actually there's been a lot of horror stuff going on on TV. But we don't talk Scarefest much. It's... Tonight is just for a bunch of us to get together and have fun and for me to knock my wine glass off of the table. And um, <laughs> if, um, if, uh, uh, um, if you want to come in the chat room at scarefestradio.com, we are in there. We've got some people already in there chatting. We are in there. We will, I will monitor that. Anita tries to watch Facebook. And, um, and I just, I'm going to introduce everybody now. Anita, flip the screen over. We are joined tonight by Brandon Griffith, co-owner of the Scarefest, Cody Chris Sutton, shaman and sponsor of Scarefest Radio, um, Holly LaFavors, our new correspondent slash co-host, and uh, incidentally, Holly, you should have pointed out on Twitter, this is the proof that you exist. Oh, I'm, I'm not a reptilian. <laughs> Apparently, because she po- she posts duck face pictures all the time, everybody thinks that she's posting fake pictures. Well, it's, that's what you I drink. Do. There, you, you drink. Therefore, you am. And uh, and of course, we are joined by Billy Crank's forehead. I have no idea. It was working a minute ago. So if Billy's camera happens to go live, yeah. Billy, can you even hear he, he me? He removed himself. He must have hung up his phone. So um, now in case this is your first Scarefest Radio holiday episode um <laughs> basically this is a night me and chris and uh ken started this tradition where every year we would come on the air having drank beforehand and just see what the hell happened is that an apt description chris would you say of what these yeah it was kind of i never i never will forget this i mean you well here's how it started it really started you were drinking all day because anita told me the truth what really happened and so it was you and Bongo, you and Ken were on doing, you know, the year end wrap up or something like that. And it got so insane. Then you called me up and we're all three drinking and, and Bongo, Ken had this great trivia, Christmas trivia contest. And I beat you in every question because you were like, I already fall off your stool up there. <laughs> and ever since then, we thought, you know, this is an instant winner. We've got to do it all the time. And so every, every year we have this now. We actually did it one year where I didn't even have audio. That was the year um, 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 Elizabeth um, Fields yes. joined us. And yep. I was having some Microsoft audio problems because they decided, ooh, the most popular sound card in the country. Fuck it. Um, and so did I. Oh, by the way, TV mature audience tonight. TV mature audience. Yeah, because, um, put the kids to bed. Yeah, put the kids to bed and, um, and hide, hide the sheep and all that good stuff. But anyway, so uh, that's yeah, that's how it started, and uh, so uh, we've I, we've done one every year since Scarefest Radio has been a thing, mm-hmm. and um, so what we do is we just bring in all the hosts. We will open up the phone lines later on, maybe I've got the phone oh. number right here, and we might even take phone calls so that people can call up and and give us help. But um, 
<laughs> the, uh, now, you guys, I, I did you guys, bring you guys, everybody. Guys. I did bring something here before we really get going. This was my Christmas gift from Mr. Ken, Ken Sutton. Ken yes. Sutton. <laughs> I do that every year too. Jeez. I do that every year as I drink. Chris Sutton yep. mm-hmm. gave me the absolute beginner's guide to podcasting. The perfect and, um, gift. Incidentally, one of the tips in here is to um, it said something Not call about Billy Crank. No, I, it was something about, uh, that was, uh, I think that's in the um, um, thing in the back. The, uh, the no, it says, seat. actually, it says remove no. any co-hosts that don't make you look good. So Sutton, this will be your last episode. <laughs> I always make you look good. No, the actually, the, the one thing, the one thing I do like he about it, the, uh, the end of every chapter, it has a little thing that says the absolute minimum. And here I am. <laughs> I warned you. I told you it was going to be a gag gift year. So that's what every you get. year's a gag gift year with me. What can you do? <laughs> so um, I, if I, if I if I we got to try. I'm going to try Billy again. We got to because if I no, I didn't have Billy. I had room to actually put myself on screen, and then we could just all like sit together in a room. Okay, I'm going to add people to the call. We're going to try again, Billy. We're going to try one more time to get Billy Crank in here because Bill, Billy is jinxed. I, you know what? I was actually embarrassed. He's a, he's our backup co-host, everybody. And I went to uh, um, check his account today, and Skype is nice enough to tell you the last time you actually had someone on Skype. And, and I was kind of embarrassed. He's not co-hosted for a while. Um, so I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying, to get him, trying to get him some air time. Just contact him uh, via his grinder account. Oh. Oh, Billy, you hear that? Oh. <laughs> now, I want you all to know Billy is in a stable, loving relationship. Uh-huh. Billy, I love you. I'm just joking. I haven't, I haven't ripped on hey, you he's since not even going to answer the phone this time. Um, well, Billy, if you're listening, uh, we do miss you, and uh, we will... If you can like stand on the roof or something, he he made me feel bad though. Everybody, he's in Florida, so that he was already going above and beyond to be on the on the on the show. But the thing is, we actually he he's at a resort. He's not like me and like gets a hotel at the Ramada Inn. No, he's in this resort that has he's in this. He, there, he was like standing in the kitchen when I first called. The kitchen of wherever he is. And then he walked and he was trying to get some place with a better internet connection. And we can see how that went. Um, so anyway, mm-hmm. so this just might be what we got because Billy is not answering the phone. If he comes up, we'll try it. Um, so, uh, darn, and I, I had such a tribute to Ken Boggle worked out tonight. So, so there goes half my show. Now, um, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and before we even get started uh, with the frivolity, I'm going to give Holly LaFavors hell over something. Um, at Louisville Supercon, me being the misogynistic bastard that I am, I gave her a Scarefest small t-shirt, Brandon, thinking, thinking, beautiful girl, give her a small t-shirt, you know, and the things that go through your mind. Fits, the, fits her like a glove. It is a perfect fit. She modeled it on on Twitter one day. It actually she has like room to do the 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 elbow trick that girls do when they you know. In other words, it's a perfect fit. How does anybody? How have you maintained your girlish figure, Holly? No children. That's the secret. No kids. No stress. More more money. Girlish figure. <laughs> I say okay. That's where she lost. Uh, she lost me because I kind of I, I I am I am a stress pocket. Let's see. Well, that's impressive because I I couldn't wear a small scareface shirt as a glove. So <laughs> hats off. What yeah. what is the the comedian's line? I wouldn't wash my truck with a damn men's medium or t shirt. So a small would even. Come. Well, really you know great. if that's the, if that's the case. When we took over to Scarefest, I have so many small shirts left over from 2015 and 14. I could clothe you for an entire 
two years. And never had to wear the same shirt twice. <laughs> and I'll bet I you would take them. them. Yeah, I would. Tag you in everything on on Twitter. <laughs> the model, Scarefest model. You could do worse, Brandon. You could do worse. Oh, do, what a <laughs> what a roast! <laughs> do do the duck lips for me, Holly. Oh, great! Now our camera freezes. No, there she is. Okay, now 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 she's moving again. Do duck lips. I gotta for turn me. on turn on my Snapchat. I don't really do duck lips. I just, <laughs> have, I just have lips. That, that took a lot of preparation. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your warm up for every time you do that? Yeah, it is. How how. I, I, Holly, don't do everything he say, he tells you to do, honey. Don't do it. He'll have you. Yeah. Don't do it. Just stop now. Just tell him no. Just you know, put an end to it before it gets out of hand. Well, yeah, you know, I Chris. That. And it just I leaves the sadness and regret. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I I brought her into the group because I just you know it's been a while since I'd had a sexual harassment lawsuit. So oh, I, yeah. I'm all about hush money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he gives hush hush cattle. So. Well, I was going to say, Brandon will give you stock in Scarefest, maybe. <laughs> right when before, right before the money. con. Right before the con. The month before. It's That's when the bargains come up. <laughs> um, and now in the chat room, I do want to uh, throw a shout out to Carol Saramaki. Her and uh, 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 Mel gave me the most, you probably saw it on Facebook, the most be- I okay. I got socks that absolutely rocked. Everybody, the cl- socks are such a Christmas gift cliche. And I got. I wish I brought them up. Need to go get my socks. My producer is going to get my socks now because these socks wow. absolutely. Wow, that's uh, that, that, that's nice the way you put that. Okay. Fetch my socks. <laughs> hey, well, I've got <laughs> and bring that other bottle of wine. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I hope she hits you in the <laughs> head with it. Do what? I hope she hits you in the head with that bottle. Sucks yeah. me, witch. Talk to her that way. It yeah, would not. sexist. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, um, on, on, a, on a daily damn basis. On a daily damn basis. Oh, I know one thing we got to talk about. Okay. Oh, okay, there's my bad Santa. Um... Now, well, let's, now. Let's talk about your haircut. Jesus Christ. What about it? Dude, I'm not seeing your hair that short. It's like a, it's like a middle-aged Brad Pitt. Well, thank you for watching Scarefest well, Radio for, every week. Except for the face week. part. <laughs> see, now, you know, Brandon, he's, he's trimmed his beard way down. Now he's got a haircut like that. He's up to something, I can tell. I'm yeah, just like, so, he doesn't look like this during the are week. You, are you doing some commercial work? Like, uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> and um, and I just want to thank you for being such a fan of the show that you watch every week because I've had this haircut for four freaking weeks. Now, now, everybody, my next cosplay, <laughs> my next cosplay. Are you ready? Are you ready? What is it? What is it? Bird box. Bird box. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. I knew what it was, though. So. All right, all right. Uh, um, now, my review. <laughs> There they are. The most beautiful socks I have ever possessed in my entire life. Did they come with a fortune? I do the fortunes. The socks He's, are just a tool. He is, Zolt, he is Zoltar. You do the shitty fortune telling. Right. Well, I don't think that's what the banner says. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I got, I got to back everybody up for just a second. So everybody here has seen the uh, Bird Box movie then? No, I just I know the reference. That's about it. Oh my god! Okay, did you say it sucked? Like you didn't like it? Hi. I per- I personally did not. No. Okay, okay, I didn't either. Okay, we agree. No, no, we're, I'm right there with you. I watched it last night. I did too. <laughs> it was like the Quiet Place, like except now they picked up a different sense, and so now I'm waiting for the next horror movie that's going to come out for like erectile dysfunction. Oh. So like. If it, the say you get a boner like some creature like comes and kills you, that would follow the the suit of the Quiet Place, Bird Box, and I don't know ED for death. 
Okay. I, I think a lot of people miss the point of the movie, which I, I tweeted my review last night about how it was a catharsis type of movie about mental health. But a lot of people were posting about how it was like The Quiet Place, which was about monsters and aliens. Um, but it follows suit with the movies, like... It follows The Happening, The Village, M. Night Shyamalan movies, so um, I think that it's a movie we've seen before, but I just read about 30 minutes ago that it has over 40 million streams already oh, it's in, crazy. In, in seven days. It's not crazy, and I, and I have a hard time like, like wrapping my head around it. Like <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't that impressed with it. I'll have to watch it now. It's on Netflix, so it cost nothing. But you guys I'm sorry, know me. I'm, I'm, a big, I'm, for the big record, I'm sorry to the viewers for what I'm uh, where I'm on screen. Uh, I've gotten Billy's other account here, and because I don't know that he wants, I don't know what that button means. Okay, Ed on Skype. <laughs> Maybe you should refer to the book I sent you. <laughs> Billy says add him from another email. Yes, Billy, um, we're working on it. What I need to do now. I can hear him. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Well, this, is giving me, this is giving me flashbacks to the old days with you know lots of shows. Uh, there we go. There we go. Found her. Found her. Found her. Uh -oh. Okay. Found her. Yes, his lovely his girlfriend. girlfriend. Ah, also yay. has Skype, and hopefully has a phone that freaking works. Ah, 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 looky hey, there. how's everybody. it going, guys? This is All right, now. Uh-oh, there he is. As we say in oh. the uh, in the, in the the radio business, I will fix that in post. Ta-da. Hi, Billy. How, hey, how's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> uh, anybody having any difficulties? <laughs> I know I am. Um, so we're, okay, so what did you... you you started off, you had a good internet connection. Was the office of the place like in the basement? Well, see, I could either stand <laughs> in the lobby or or something where everybody can hear me. Office a little bit, obviously. So um, I chose to come to the office. And the office doesn't have a very well. Uh, Taylor here has got this um, iPad, and it's doing pretty well. Oh, goody. A an another Apple product. We'll see how this goes. Um, now, uh, now Taylor, I did not get to uh, publicly apologize to you. Everybody now, though, I met Taylor. Now, she, she friended me on Facebook because that's what people do. But then um, I met her at Louisville Supercon, and she was in cosplay. Very, 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 very nicely done. Very uh, character accurate. And what did Wesley say to her? He says, oh, look, Ms. Marvel. Captain, <laughs> God can't take you anywhere, yeah. Brandon. Now you're a comic book fan from way back. No. How did that character no. start out? He does okay in redneck bars. <laughs> before before the before Captain Marvel croaked from cancer or something, it was Ms. Marvel and Captain Marvel. She got promoted. For the record, just because the Marvel Universe doesn't recognize my youth, um, God, somebody, somebody's been reading the PD. I, 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 I'm a comic book fan. That's how I became so smart. Yeah. This is spiraling out of control. Okay. Now, uh, okay. I, well, I'm going to put, I'm gonna put Taylor on the hot seat in a minute. Now, Taylor, what other characters do you do? Poor Taylor. <laughs> well, I also do Harley Quinn. Um, Doesn't everybody? Uh, move on, move you, on. Okay. Yeah, hey, no. if you can rock Harley okay, Quinn, you're okay, okay with me. I like the OG Harley Quinn, the Jester one. That's my favorite. Oh, okay. The one, in words, the one that without... With the non-sexy one. I got you. Okay. The non-sexy one? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Wes, have you ever seen Batman the Animated Series? Come on. Oddly enough, no. The reason why Batman uh. is 
you you gotta understand everybody. Um, you and, gotta under, you gotta understand the year that uh, the movie came out, uh, uh, Suicide Squad. It came out not long before the Scarefest, and we were, I would say, ass deep in, and that's a very that's actually a very good way to put it, ass deep in Harley Quinns that year, and um, many of them male, incidentally. And I really, I, I got this phobia about this. Now, this is not, this is not anti uh, cross dressing or anything. This is just a simple thing. There are people that should not wear hot pants. And, man, most of them are guys. There, sure. I put it out there. I'm sorry. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Because, as we say in the country, the walnuts were falling. Although, Billy, if you did cosplay. <laughs> As Ernest doing uh, cosplay of Harley Quinn, I would probably pay for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be worth the money. That sounds pretty uh, interesting there. No, I mean, if you want, if you want something to work on, like I, <laughs> if you can pull that off, I'll, I'll be impressed. <laughs> we'll figure something. She's pretty good at cosplay. She'll she'll hook me up there. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't get her to work with me now. Uh, uh, um. It is uh, now okay, Billy? Are you going to expand <laughs> your repertoire? Because I don't want to stomp on your on your on your um whatever the hell. I'll, I'm I'll tell you. I'll tell you. What, what is I the am. English word for? I'm going to start doing that. Whenever I can't think of something, Chris, I'm just going to say, uh-huh. "What's the English word?" That way, people will think I'm bilingual. Um, All right there you go. The uh, no uh, okay. If, she's do, if she does Harley Quinn. Now, does, does that mean we're going to move beyond Ernst and maybe see Batman Billy Crank or Joker Billy Crank? Uh, you, hey, I, you might you might see a Robin. How about that? You might see a Robin. Uh, I'll see a Robin. Um, <laughs> wait, you, wait, wait, Billy, are you fucking kidding me? Like, okay, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna break that out and like your 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 goal is to go for Robin? Come on, come on. on yeah, go bigger than that. Yeah, go on, bigger Billy, than you that. Can, you can go bigger. Come on, buddy. I, I'm not going to be doing too much more of that at the moment, but I'm going to I'm going to drop a bomb on everybody right now. Um, the Fairley brothers are picking up, are are sign are trying to pick up on the character, and they're wanting to buy the rights for a year. The Fairley brothers. So um, uh, I'm sitting on that right now. If you guys heard that. Uh, which character the the the, the uh, Ernst um, character? The, the the son of Ernest character. Yeah, son they're, of Ernest. Kind of looking at that. <laughs> well, that see that doesn't uh, but, count because but then that, that becomes play, a job. Man, can't, then can't go no farther than than the Ernest for me. That's that's like my that's my go to. You know what I mean? So so you're telling yeah. me that that your lady friend needs Batman? Uh, yeah. I'm or, or a what is that? Black Knight? What is that? The Dark Knight? Nightwing. 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 <laughs> I thought that was cool. That would have been a cool thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm act, but no, I actually because um, I actually actually do want to if I can get somebody. Actually, I'll probably just go somewhere and rent a costume one weekend when we're doing one of these cons because I'm not died don't do cosplay. But, but, I do want to do Batman just because I like doing the voice. So. You sure you don't want to do Black Knight? Yeah. yeah. What's a freaking... Black Knight? <laughs> Black Knight? Yeah. That's a, no, that no, sounds no, like... Apparently, no, that's a, that's a character that Billy's created. I can't remember him right <laughs> off, but, like, Black Knight sounds pretty interesting. I don't, that's, think, that's... I don't think that's politically correct. Well, he's the I, one. No, Billy, I, Billy, I don't think you could show up in blackface to a con oh, no, and make that alive. Okay. No, no, no nor no, should I'm, you. No, I'm not. Just, I'm that. just, I'm just making sure. Just throwing it out there. Yep. Now, now the Black Knight. If you go back to uh, Monty Python, the Holy Grail, the Black Knight's oh, the one that fights. Tis of and, flesh wounds. I could do that one. one. I could. You do could. That yeah, one. Yes. you'd be great oh, at that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's uh, that just would be a, good. Although although now my favorite. Well, you know what. Um, you got me wanting to do dark helmet. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm holding that one for the lovely lady that we met at Louisville Supercon. Hey, she is coming to Scarefest, and we can't, as uh, we can't I'm have two of those. I'm a male. Dude, you're, 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 you can't. Okay, look, you're taking my niche here. Like every year, I, 
It was a different Rick Moranis character. <laughs> so, like, I, Lord Helmet is on my list. Now, Ooh. if you were going to do Lord Helmet, I can I can jive with that. Then I'll have to go as Barf because I'm a fat ass. So, <laughs> I'll go as Barf. You go as Lord Helmet. You can pull it off. I'll let you borrow my glasses. <laughs> I, I would be game for that. I'm half man, half dog. I'll be my own best friend. Good to go. It could be yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That, that, I remember that character. I hate yogurt, even with strawberries. <laughs> God. Well, that conversation took a weird turn, if I do say so myself. That, that's um, what I do. That's what you got me here for. I can't drink fast enough for you guys. Keep going. <laughs> What were you drinking on there? Oh, by the way. A little wild turkey. Brandon. 101. 101, uh, Nicole says no smoking in the house. Are you kidding me? I'm confined in my my own little quadrant here. I can do whatever I want to. I'll play Twister naked on this floor (laughs) if I feel like it. This is my section of the house. I'll do what I want. And tune in next week. Yeah. Uh, The ultimate divorce. For for the next edition of Divorce Court. (laughs) But anyway, okay. So, um, so I'm not, not, now Bird Box, I could actually do with the, uh, with that thing that I had right around my head because I can actually see. Uh, but I'm having a little trouble whether just to do Sandra Bullock or to, to, to do one of the male characters. But, okay, so I've got Bad Santa. And uh, Brandon, now are we doing um, 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 uh, Vet City? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, like, what, two weeks now? Yeah, I th- well, three. Yeah, it's like 20, 27, 21 days, something like that. Oh, semantics. I, but yes. Okay, yes. I want. I thought, actually, I, I, I vaguely remembered you actually reserving the table the night we were talking about it, but I wanted yeah, to oh, make oh, sure. Yeah, it's, all, it's all set. Like, cons are like my adult spring break, so... Yeah, we're we're on the docket. So everybody, uh, Brandon and I will be at Vets Vet City Comic Con in Bowling Green, Kentucky, mm. at the uh, Corvette Museum, and uh, we actually we have a banner for that. Show everybody the banner, Anita. Ah. Uh, and uh, if you want to play the home game, it is vetcity.com. V e t t e city dot con dot com. God, well, that is an unfortunate. Web address, vetcitycon.com. But anyway. Um, I, got, I got a message for Brandon real quick. <clears throat> uh, I was looking in the chat here, Brandon. Nicole's en route home, if that means anything to you. So, and somebody kicking your ass, I don't know. But so, uh, yeah, yeah. Carry it's on. A fun, it's the fun police are on their way, so we'll yes. have to <laughs> take, take note of that. Smoke them up while you got them. <clears throat> no, I'm trying to, let's see. I can't install a deadbolt on the inside of this door. <laughs> that. Uh, so, Billy, what's up down in Florida, buddy? That's pretty. That's nice weather, huh? That's pr- mm-hmm. pretty good stuff. Uh, we're down here, uh, rubbing in, okay, keep in and uh, checking things out. Staying here at this little resort, um, kind of taking it easy, man. It's been good. Been a nice, relaxing time. Never been uh, to a kind of a tropical place during Christmas, so it's new for me. Taylor, she's been, haven't she? Mm-hmm. So is that is that your first time at the bathhouse in Key West, or have you been there before? <laughs> <laughs> it's his first time. Oh, uh. now, now, <laughs> I get to be on camera the same time everybody else does, and best of all, I'm in front of Sutton. So, wow. <laughs> oh my God. I actually didn't mean to get right in front of him. There we go. I'll move my, I'll move myself <laughs> off to the side just a little bit for the viewers. Um, <laughs> I really don't think I'm going to use this episode. For the affiliates, but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Your ex affiliates, if you put this one out there, but hey, I've already lost two. Now one of them went out of business. <laughs> Wasn't my fault. But um, <laughs> no, the, the the other one, it is like y'all are crazy. Um, so uh, back to cosplay. Okay, so you do Harley Quinn. I, I I'm interested in, in Taylor's cosplay. Oh, you do Harley oh, Quinn, and of course you you've got. Um, Captain Marvel almost said I almost said it wrong. <laughs> um, and um, also, uh, you know, the Star Wars, of course, right? 
Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. He's, he's trying to shoot Wes. I'm trying to line him up. Um, I was gonna say, Chris, you do realize you're just pointing this at Billy's face. So you really didn't affect No, actually, I'm a, I'm, you're looking <laughs> Um, okay, never mind. I couldn't pass that. For um, <laughs> this is actually a really cool effect. For um, now for Vet City, Brandon, I'm gonna I am going to come as Constantine. <laughs> so what? You're gonna change the color of your shirt? Yes, actually, I am. <laughs> I'm going to bite the bullet. Wow, wow, well, Wes really fucking sell that. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Now, not everybody that's, has seen my super dude, cool that, trench coat. Dude, that's a lot of work, like going to Walmart and buying a white button-up shirt. Like, hats off to you. Like, congrats. Not Come on. Come on. Not this everybody, not everyone has seen my really cool trench coat. Other than some people that, well, it's still in court. It's still in court. Um, okay. Trench so, coat, white shirt, black tie, black pants, black shoes. You got it. You're in. See? Smoke see? A, and smoke a lot of cigarettes. You, you, you do that anyway, so you're see? good. The only problem I... I have to Google a mugshot of you <laughs> and... Taylor. <laughs> Taylor yeah. said he, he's sure that people at the park has seen it, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where the court thing comes up, but... I can, I'm not allowed to talk about it, according to my law. <laughs> um, anyway... The, you, you realize out of the whole ensemble, the one thing I do have to buy, I actually have to buy a pair of black pants. The only black pants I have are tuxedo pants, and I don't think that would, I think the effect would be. Yes, Wesley owns 100 Hawaiian shirts and a tuxedo. So. So anyway, I, yeah, but I. Uh, <laughs> I can't come up with nothing else by by Jan. What, what when the hell is that damn thing? January twenty. Let's see. I I should give them a plug. January twenty fifth through twenty sixth. I'll, I'll be enough, Wes. I happen to have just a tuxedo jacket, and so we should join forces. <laughs> Between the two of us, we can be the penguin. <laughs> Which, incidentally, if she goes as Harley Quinn, at least the same comic book, that's something. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can pull off cosplay for this one. Like, <clears throat> you, you get your white shirt and trade in your tuxedo pants and do Constantine. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to come up with a Rick Moranis character before then. I can't cosplay as anything else other than a Rick Moranis character. I think I'll do Honey, I Shrunk the Kids this year. It, it, it's just a personal thing, Billy. You, you, you understand. I have to. I know my niche. I don't move beyond Rick yeah. Moranis. Hey, there you go, man. There you go. Can you think of anything else that he's been in besides Ghostbusters? <laughs> and he shrunk the kids. No, I've done a little shop of horrors. We, we uh, I did that one year. There you go. There you go. Now, what, so. what's the difference between those characters? What can you say is the difference? Whether or not I put tape on my glasses or not. <laughs> right on. Yeah, it's kind of, Billy is it's kind of like the uh, the difference between your son of Ernest character and everybody I've ever met at the stockyards. <laughs> so anyway, let me let me say something. This is funny. Okay, we're not hearing you, Billy. Okay, Billy, slow down. Slow down. We're not hearing you. Your internet is froze. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna pause whatever. You, um, there we go. There we go. Now, now say. There you go. I know. All right. Uh, really funny to some people around. Uh, every happy party that I go to, I add a little extra something. We actually think that I'm wasted beyond recognition. Oh. And um, like this year, I was dancing and stuff, and I come in for about 10 minutes and, and just made a fool of myself, you know. 
And then I left and come back dressed in a wig and something else. And I heard people talking and saying how wasted Billy Crank was. Uh, anyway, it's it's it, <laughs> it, it's just funny. To, it's funny. Oddly to enough, Billy, people tell the same story on me. Yeah. But I am. And incidentally, there is a reason everybody that Chris Sutton is not a TV weatherman because. <laughs> He has a real problem with the with the right and left when he when he's dealing with um, trying to superimpose something. Uh, so your rabbit ears fall apart. Oh, shit's deaf, backwards. Deaf. All right, see where are you? Come here, Wesley. <laughs> Off screen. Off screen. Chris, you're right here. Come you're back. right here. There you go. Right, right in front of your right ear. You can do it, buddy. I know you can. There you go. And there's dense fog in this area right here. I'm mean, okay with my two fingers. There we go. I'm just doing the chat room's biddings right now. <laughs> you're, 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 you're welcome, Eric. Yeah, Eric thanked me. You will pay for this. You know that. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Somebody don't have their phone muted. Anyway. Um, mm -hmm. okay, uh, uh, um, Billy, Billy Crank. Okay, uh, I hate that we lost Holly, but I, I've already, it is the uh, fancy. He, he's in the laundry room at the Sandals Resort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, pretty close. Because this episode is famous for going off on tangents. I want... Now, now, that was good, Chris. You looked right at me. You looked right at me. Um, I'm having a bit of a social media dilemma, and so I'm going to put it out there for all of you to tell me what I should do about it. Other than you, Brandon, who just, like, doesn't go on social media except, like, once a month. So you're, you're no help. I'm but, a happier man for it. Just saying. <laughs> but for some reason, and I notice it more over the holidays, but uh, two things happen. People like sending me private messages with um, uh, little these these memes and little funny sayings that they think I would be interested in. The problem is it's usually shit that I like posted like a week or two ago. How can I politely tell people I don't want to be rude to people? Well, actually, I usually don't care, but I don't want to be rude to people. But I, I'm getting these private messages. And by the way, never send me a freaking <clears> video. <throat> never. Never send me a video on Facebook. But I, I, I'm getting these, these uh, messenger uh, things, people with these, these little sayings, because that's what I do. And they think, in other words, once in a while it might be something that I'm interested in, but I really can't remember a single time. Billy, okay, let's rephrase the question. Billy, what do you do? When somebody sends you like a joke that they'd say, "Oh, Billy, you're funny. You should tell this joke." Um, I say, "All right, you know." Of course, lots of people do this, so I can't. I'm not gonna diss it. You know what I'm saying? Because I appreciate the input and any ideas that I get that I think possibly I might use later, and it's happened. I'll put in a file, and you know. I'll, I'll keep it for later, but um, me, I, I'm very appreciative on that. But um, are, are you saying that that it aggravates you or gets on your nerves? Yeah, because I don't like private messages unless it's something important. In other words, if you want to put it on my wall, yeah. <laughs> if you want, so so so, so Wes, that, that's the same thing as like like people like giving you a call. And you saying like, eh, you know, I don't like that many calls, or I don't want to hear that. And and generally, I, I can I can identify with that. Like I, I like people for the most part, but I read an article the other day about how, um, what is it? Fertility is at an all time low in the United States. And I didn't read that as an entirely negative article. And so, a lot of people <laughs> I talk to. I get very good feedback and on Facebook, like I get messages and I want to hear it and, and, and I read them and, and get back to folks. 
But for every nine good messages I get, I get one message where, you know, infertility in America is not that big of a problem. Yeah. Hey, I'm rooting for it um, from what I've seen. I mean, I, I'm with you there. Um, <laughs> Point being is, I think it, you just kind of have to take everything like, uh, <clears throat> what is it? Uh, kind of take everything in stride and like sometimes like, I, I don't know, like that it's, it's always going to happen and like people are always going to give input and you've got to take uh, good input, apply it, but <laughs> eh, you know, sometimes uh, you get the occasional assish message and you just yeah, gotta let and, that go uh, you know what um one of those messages in your inbox um is me sir so um you need to check your messages dude i'm on blackout <laughs> from october to december see see okay hey, now you, now well, the truth I, comes I, out i'm just gonna do what no, brandon no. does and ignore all of them no no i i have a very set principle on this and, and, and you can love it or hate it. So <clears throat> I have blackout periods in the year where I just do not go on social media. And it's always October, November, December. I don't do it. Do not do it. That's kind of creepy. But, oh! But, hey. But, I've but, got... but I don't do it. But, like, so January rolls around, I will chime in there and I will jump back in it. But, like, I just have to have blackout periods for sanity. And I think everybody does. That's what right I'm doing on. tonight. I'm having a blackout period. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got a movie <clears throat> idea for um, that um, Fake Shimp wrote, and it's called Escargo, Attack of the Killer Snails from Space. We need to do. Damn, that's genius. And scripts written, ready to go. We just need to get funding and have Scarefest <laughs> presents and then Fake Shimp. <laughs> Um, it, it, they're the writers, and um, I believe it would blow up. And we've got enough actors within the Scarefest realm here that we could pull this off like awesome. Yeah, but that's Wes could, be, Wes could be a snail. I've got, the, <laughs> I've got the poster, and I sent it through to your uh, messenger. The first of all, you just described the every problem that I have with Scarefest Radio, and that is funding. Um, <laughs> It's always that magical funding thing. The, I've shot uh, movies with a thousand dollar budget, I, I, and I, the I, last one with a five thousand dollar budget. It I can do. Be done. I do a year's worth of Scarefest Radio on a thousand dollar budget. Right on. I, I thought I saw <laughs> Billy's. I thought I thought I saw Brandon's light, eyes lit up though. Hey, dude, uh, dude, uh, if we uh, 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 with uh, all right, like no, said, no start going, she, you had him. Talk to me about that oh, time. Man, puppets. So so so. I have yet to see, like, like you, you show me a script on that, and we'll talk. If we hey, can it, one, I, I, at, at this point, be I am all out. Sent to you. There's going to be a script sent to you. I, I want to see I want to see what we're talking about here. Cause you, all right. Hey, you, man. That's we insane. film at 90s and 80s style <laughs> where we just use puppets. Think Gremlins, Critters, um, very little CGI. It, it's, it'd be awesome, dude. Can Nicole like shoot a shower scene? Possibly. Okay. That, well, she my... can shoot it. We don't have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to tell her it's going to be in the movie, and then I'll just film it myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That sounds great. That sounds fantastic. Oh, speaking of which, um, Bess filmed a audio for um, a hitchhiker video, songs. To get murdered to, or songs to hitchhike to. I can't remember which one it is, but uh, we're going to be filming that here soon uh, with Fake Shimp. But, uh, Wes, do you remember doing that? I, yeah, because I figured that my voiceover was so good, they just said, we can't top this and kill the project no, it, right there. It was good. No, it's not killed. <laughs> we're going to wait till the weather gets going, and we're going to film that, and it's going to be very good. Because that was, that was like a year ago. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy, I you know... know I, I think George, uh, George Romero's son lives in Kentucky. You think so? I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I can't remember which part, but he, he lives in Kentucky. I'm almost positive. But, so uh, he, does that mean, was, like, you think we can borrow his shit? No, but, like, <laughs> if, if you're going to make a movie in Kentucky and it's going to be a horror theme, like, that would be a good dude to reach out to, I would think. Yeah. 
Uh, what's his name? Chris, I think. Yeah, he he lives in Kentucky. He, he actually was working on a few uh, projects last time I <clears throat> I was talking about it. Look into that. Yeah, yeah. But we've got enough people within the Scarefest fam, if you will, that uh, everybody. There's a lot of people that knows how to build stuff. They know how to do makeup, special effects. Taylor here, she knows how to do crazy stuff. That it's awesome. <laughs> but anyway, we, we're full and of why those they're dating. Of people. And I believe that that if we can pull something together within like a, a low budget, and then people would just want to do it just to get in on it. And and I think we could build something awesome. Like I really do with the the uh, S cargo thing. Like yeah, I, I just I just got all this ideas running through my brain with that project and it's been going for a couple years me and glenn cochran from australia and uh we, we just got a lot of ideas with that and i think we could do something awesome but anyway yeah, that dude's that dude's in the chat room good day you know he's here yeah you know i, f I feel like mr work you know i'm from fantasy island i have a little tattoo here with me you know behind or stand there in front of me the plane boss the plane <laughs> That's what you get for getting my square. Let's do, let's do, let's do a little nipple twist in here. <laughs> no, Billy, like, I, I'm open to talking about it, man. Like, this year, um, you know, I was really trying to figure out a way to, because obviously, like, the floor plan and stuff is changing this year. Right. And so, like, upstairs, we're probably going to be moving into the film rooms. Are, I, I'm trying to get, like, three different film rooms upstairs across from the mm -hmm. Burbred. And... I'm really trying to take the film series to another level that it's been at, and like I, I'm, I'm open to just about anything. I feel point. you, man. I feel you. I've been wanting, I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, and uh, if it, like I seen the the last movies, what was it, Babes from Space or something? Well, who, oh, who did space, uh, space, yeah, <laughs> Dude, Space Babes so from they, Outer they, Space. So what you will about Space Babes? I enjoyed that movie. Fuck you. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I right, on, right on. But when I seen that, and then Scarefest had something to do with the film, it started some gears in my brain. Like, man, like, like, what? If, what if we did something every year? Like, had a project, and you know, of course, there would be a little, little bit of money making off of that towards Scarefest and 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 other stuff we could do um, to use, you, you know, uh, like have DVDs and and all that stuff, and and you know, have partners in in on in on that. Where, um, I mean, you see where I'm going with this, don't you? Like. It, it could build on, on bigger movies and, and other guests that come into Scarefest could be involved in it. And uh, well, I, I love local movies in Kentucky, man. Like I think there's a lot of good filmmakers here locally. Like I've always been amazed by their work. Like I think it's great. Like I, I mean, I, I love like big blockbuster, like you know your your cliche movies of the '80s and stuff. But like a lot of the stuff that like uh, Jerry and uh, Claude and all those guys do. Like locally, like I, I'm a huge fan of, of low budget horror and low budget movie, and right. and I think there's a lot of good stories there. Now, we had a good thing going with like the Kentucky Theater at one point in time, and <clears throat> their management or, or something there has changed a little bit, and so <clears throat> they are more. I mean, I'll just say it. I mean, they are more inclined to do like movies that they buy from like production studios and like all that stuff, and so. We've been looking at trying to like what we can do in nineteen for it, and the lyric theater is is an option, and then you have um, you know some other theaters that are that are local, but nothing that that's quite like the Kentucky. I, I really like doing it in Kentucky, and and it was positive, and like got a hooker with a hacksaw. It was yeah. like I, I would have never seen that had I not like like worked that out and, and got it with with Claude and them and got it at the Kentucky, and I thought it was great. And, and I love it. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it was a lot of fun. Um, and I love movies like that. And so now, like, what we have to look at is, is like, the Kentucky isn't really down with doing that kind of stuff anymore, from what I can tell. Even like just uh, local events and, and things like that. And so the lyric is kind of our next best stop for it. Because if, if you know, Scarefest is really built around the movies. But in the past, like we we've not really done a whole lot of movie stuff. Like it's just been like a show. Like, we don't really invest in the in the film series and um, the film festival side of it. And that's something that I really want to change. And like, uh, just I mean, for me to you, I mean, 
if, if the Kentucky is not an option, I mean, what, what do you think about the lyric for something like the film series that we used to do? <clears throat> I, I love it, man. Hey, have, I, you, I, have you been in a lyric? Like, do you... I, yeah, once. Is that, that like, and I, I would love to hear anybody's ideas, like in and around like central eastern Kentucky. If you have like an old school theater that like would, would love to like host things like that, I would be all about it, and, and I would throw in my two cents. Uh, awesome. What do you think, Wes? Oh, I'm sorry. What? 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 What were you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, really. It um. It's one of those ideas that sounds really great. The question is whether or not. This is why Brandon hates me. It's it's coming up with the uh, the um, the, oh the three people to. Um, Hi, Nicole. Hey. Um, Hi, Nicole. To execute. He's because bad. there are already so many moving parts in the Scarefest. Can't hear anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got my headphones on. Hold on. I'm going to unhead <laughs> Hi, everybody. I went and saw Mary Poppins. Uh, you're still not gonna hey, it. how was it? Okay. How was Mary Poppins? Two seconds, guys. <laughs> he doesn't know how to work this. Oh, you've just thrown too much on me at one time. You fix it. I'll be back. Oh, it's Merry fixed. Christmas. Oh, hold on. I'm really going to do some editing to get this. <laughs> to get rid of some dead spaces in this episode. Um, But, uh... I don't. Uh, Jason Boyd, who could not be with us tonight, had brought up. I don't know if Brandon can even hear me yet. Uh, had brought up about doing some um, little comedy shorts, you know, involving unfortunately copyrighted characters that we might have to watch about. But you know, humor. Saying, in other words, video memes, if you will. Can you hear now? <laughs> and incidentally everyone this is how she does it when it's actual episode runs she's in, a great run, she yeah in she's there. a great co-host I've seen her I've seen her before now okay how was Mary Poppins Mary Poppins was really good it makes you cry like 20 times throughout because the kid's mother and dad and the husband's trying to move on and it's just it's really sad it was wonderful I loved it. It was weird seeing The Quiet Place and then seeing her as Mary Poppins because um, I kept seeing her like in the bathtub trying to give birth in silence and then she's Mary Poppins. And, you know, those are the two films I've seen her in uh, kind of back to back. So that was that was a little while, but it was great. I'm going to take her out back to see it. And then while I was gone, my husband got a um, airless fryer and also a dehydrator and rotisserie kind of cooker for Christmas from my mom. He cooked Brussels sprouts in while I was at the movies and smoked in the house. So if you can imagine, it smells horrible right now. Cats and, and dogs I, living I, together. There. It's the end of the world. media team is in babysitting my daughter. So On I'm, the other side of the house. And doing a great job. So. And Amber installed porn on our TV. Oh. Yes, yeah, she did, actually. For Christmas. Our gift to Brandon. <laughs> well, that's that's <laughs> something. Love it. Boy, this has went off the rails sideways. I like the special effects, Wes. <laughs> you guys continue. Both of them. Hey, love you, Nicole. Love Bye, you. Nicole. I'm getting speedy. I, I, I feel like Deadpool, the, the, the one character where every time she would come on screen, he'd go, Hi. That was yeah. That was the the girlfriend. Yeah. Um um um. The Japanese actress. Yes. Now what? I tell you what. Uh, since, since we're on a serious note now, for some ungodly reason, um um, I'm actually the just sit back, Sutton. The um the the 
for the horror fans in our audience, it's actually a great time to be alive. Not because of what's coming out in movies, but because Netflix and Hulu have got on this big horror kick. Have you watched Into the Dark on Hulu? No, that that's my next project. I thought you, I thought you had to fix a fence. <laughs> I've done that too, but um um um, Netflix is of course they they've been in it pretty good since Halloween. It's like they had a good Halloween and said, well, let's just keep cranking this shit out. But now Hulu's jumping on on the bandwagon, and they've got the yep. Into the Dark, which is is Into the Dark an actual movie or is it like a series of of movies? No, it's a series. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, it's awesome. Um, I, I've not been disappointed yet. Like, there's, I mean, there's a couple episodes that aren't as good as the other ones, obviously. But like, when you go into like, <clears throat> I mean, you got to think about it. Horror kind of, I don't know, it disappeared to some extent, like old school horror, like for a long time, and hadn't been in the mainstream. And it was like you had to like search it out. And then, like in the last, what is it? God, probably five, five years, five, six years. Like it's just it's just out there, like you know you got Bates Hotel, Stranger Things, like all these things that hit my screen. Like get out! I'm going. To... What Bill did you part? I'm, I'm going to try to find a name. No we watched a um, semi. It was a comedy horror movie, House of God. What was the name of that? Shit! Everybody. Help House me in the chat shit. room. Okay. Um, it's on Netflix, and basically, it's these. It's a. It's a um, house of some. It's got a big long name because they actually use the logo of the T-shirt, but the big words are House of. And it's a last name, and I can't remember it. Um, but here's the premise behind it: It's a family of vampire hunters, and of course, the last vampire they killed in like 1930. So the family's kind of been withdrawn from that, and to become to make money, they are going they um, are faking it. Well, then they accidentally awaken a real vampire, and it was a funny, funny movie. And I and I hate that I cannot remember the name of it. House of somebody's googling it. That's Dude, right. I'm trying, but like, based on the description. <laughs> no, I'm like, talking to people in the chat room. It's like trying to find a needle in a fudge stack. Like, I, there's no way of, like, I, <clears> I've not seen it, which I find odd. But... Shit, somebody it's has tough. to have seen that movie besides me. And and the no, reason I'm I can't remember it's the, the it's the house of and it's their last name. And, and the actual title of the movie is I Spent the Night at House of Whatever It Is. We'll get that name. Somebody in the chat room always comes through for me. We have, like fine, we have lots of fine people in the chat room tonight, too, Wes. We have Kim Ford Johnson was watching, but I think she got drunk and had to go to bed. Our friend Eric <laughs> Morrison's out there. Jackie McCord. Hi, Jackie. Chris Hughes, you're a buddy. Who else is out there tonight? Carol Saramaki. Yeah, Carol, you had to shovel a bunch of shit in snow today, didn't you? Uh huh. Yeah, Christy Turner, Eric what Morrison. Do we do? Shadows. Kim Spill, my Kim. I saw you earlier on the screen when you're going to stick a knife in Brandon. Um, Glenn, yes. Yeah, so we're really happy all you guys came out to you watch know, what us we, tonight. What we do in the shadows is, on its own, a very, very good comedy horror movie, but it's not the one I'm thinking of. FYI. Glenn says that. Oh, well. Um, I, I will get that name and I will send it to you, Brandon. Oh, yeah, you're killing me, man. Like, I, 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 I can't place it. Like I, you know, it's actually, I, what I like about it, it's bloody as all get out. Now, some of the vampire effects as far as the makeup, a little iffy, little iffy. But as far but when it comes when it comes time to spill blood, they spill like when you drive a stake in the vampire's heart, they they, they explode. So picture that in a but, small. Uh, no, that just doesn't fit Lost of Boy standards. Like I don't know with vampires, like I always go with Lost of Boy standards, uh, Lost Boy standards. Like when you 
you plunge it in, like garlic stuff like, comes pouring out, and then they die. Like I don't know. I, I've, I've Lost Boys was the first vampire movie I ever watched, so I've always like put my state like my my stock in that. But I, yeah, I've not I've not seen what you're talking about on Netflix. But if you will message me when you find out, I would love to see it. Now, of course, Chris's first vampire movie was Nosferatu. <laughs> I saw it when it first came out, too. That's how fucking old I am. But, no, actually, it was the original Dracula, I think, is what the first one I saw. <coughs> but, uh, and, uh, everybody, uh, now I'm, I'm going to give, uh, um, Amazon a plug here. The only thing, Amazon Prime makes it, makes everything hard to find. But they've actually gotten in a really good collection of, um, uh, not only horror, but aliens and Bigfoot, they got a big heart on for Bigfoot right now. And they've got they've got all of these um uh paranormal and horror shows, but if they were as good about recommending movies as Netflix is, although I have to admit that sometimes Netflix like, oh, you enjoyed Terrifier? Well you'll like Full House. You know, okay. Sometimes they're a little. Off. <laughs> You're like full house. What? They're they're a little off sometimes, but but at least they put forth the effort. Who do who 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 do? Who do? Who do? Who do? Who do? Who doesn't well. even try? They just this is what we got. You can go find your own shit. Oh, you gotta search it out, man. It's like uh, like what voodoo and like all those other things, like. There's a million different streaming services out there, and like, if I want to sit down, and like, find like some good like horror movies, like I, I've got to where I, I just do Shutter, like for that. But like, if you if you dig through Amazon Prime, like, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can watch, and like, um, a lot of those places are producing their own horror movies now, and like, doing their own series, and like, it 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 just takes like the movie theater out of the mix altogether. And or cable TV, and so you get to watch all these things streaming, like basically unedited, that we didn't have like when I was growing up. And so like, uh, when I was watching horror movies growing up, like I was watching them on the satellite, like under lock and, lock and key. And so like now you just have like all these different avenues. Like I, I don't know, I think it's a really exciting time for horror movies, and I've been really happy with what we've got coming out and like what's been out there. And God, have you seen the preview for us? Like. It, it just seems like like horror is like just come mainstream like all of a sudden over the last little bit. Speaking of Especially previews, Chris. now I realize, realize the franchise isn't that old, so I think people are still attached. But why is everybody giving Hellboy such a hard time over a freaking sixty second preview? I, I I didn't see a problem with the preview. Like I, I was really like I'm excited about the David Harbor version. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the original, like, uh, you know, series, but I'm a huge David Harbor fan, too. And so, like, I didn't really see a whole lot of problem with the new, um, like, trailer that was posted. Like, it, it's just one of those things, like, anything new, I think, is scary to folks. And anytime something's redone, like, it, it just takes a lot to swallow. Um, probably something you've never heard before, Billy, but yeah. <laughs> Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron but Perlman I, I, was the original, and apparently because he's not starring in the reboot, everybody's just losing their fucking mind. Oh, I bet that did start some shit. I, I don't think people are, are completely like, you know, batshit crazy about it right now. Like, I, I, what, what my buddies that I talk to, like, you know, we we are pretty in tune with movies and stuff, and like, we've all seen. The, the trailer and we were huge fans of uh, you know the Perlman version and the comic book too I mean the comic book is awesome if you haven't read it but you know I'm actually uh, like the preview I saw like I'm really excited for it everybody I've talked to has been pretty stoked for it too well all I have to go by is what I see on social media and because somebody came up with the um uh, Ron Burgundy um, meme that you're not Ron. Everybody took it and ran with it. Well, people people are going to like do that. Like from the second they they didn't cast Ron Perlman, 
and it, 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 it's going to be under scrutiny, and I think they all understand that. And so I think it makes everybody want to work harder and make a good movie. And True. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I'll just have to wait and see it before I make a judgment on it. I'm not going to pass it just because they don't cast Ron Perlman. <laughs> Now I actually have already made my uh, uh, decision on on um, Child's Play. I'm sorry, I cannot get into AI for the new Chucky doll. No, I, I, ever since like we uh, we talked to Alex, man, like I started like reading more about it. And I, I can't get into that that notion of it. Like they're, they're, eh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not excited. I, I try not to pass judgment, like I was just saying on things before I watch them, but like. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a big fan of the original ones. Have you guys like watched like or read anything about like what yeah. they're doing? Yeah, a little bit of it. Uh, so it is going to be all CGI, or or is that right? Well, it's supposed to take off. It's supposed to be completely different from the original story. And from what I gather, like he, he's supposed to be like an artificial intelligence kind of thing. Uh, and so it, it's not like. Uh, you know, Charles Lee Ray and all that stuff, which, you know, if you're going to revamp something like that, like, I mean, I don't know, call it something different or go along with a different storyline. But I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't agree with it. I haven't seen it, but I know that all the original like folks are like not in it. And so like, uh, or, or had any input in it. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical of that. His but, name's Buddy now, right? Oh shit! That was one thing I missed. Like I, I didn't see that. No, 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 I, no. Now, buddy, are, are you fu- are you fucking with me, Billy? Like, it, 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 it can't really be buddy. Buddy is the. I'm a, I'm making the assumption if they stick to the original concept at all. See, buddy was the doll line. So surely they wouldn't even change his wouldn't change his name too. Surely not. Oh, oh, buddy! Like, what was the, the actual like my buddy? Like the creepy the doll? Yeah, was it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, like those things used to creep the shit out of me because I watched that movie. Yeah, I had one of those, but I seen a uh, movie poster where instead of Chucky or or whatever the doll's name is, it said Buddy on the package. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Well, now the package would say that. Chucky's package said. Right, because it's a buddy doll. Right, right, it's a buddy doll. No, his, his was like good guy, or was it? Something. Yeah, it was good guy. Oh, was it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. My, my buddy was the actual, like, real life reality version of good okay. guy doll. And so my buddy was like, I always had it in my head, like, they had based, like, the good guy doll off the my buddy. Because my buddy was something I could go into Walmart and buy myself, and every time I walked past that, I was freaked the fuck out and just wanted to like burn them all and, and perform some sort of like exorcism on it. Like <laughs> it just used to scare me. But but yeah, that was uh, that was the way it went. And so like this one is supposed to be like an AI kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. No no creepy like. But voodoo. what I heard was his face is supposed to be CGI, and that might be wrong. You know how things. Get I'd, said, say it, but, no, uh, I'd say no. I'd say no. I'd say it will be, because if it's yeah. artificial intelligence, then they'll want it to. Well, I mean, Terminator type thing. Um, well, okay, we're 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 past our hour mark, and everybody now is kind of slowing down because me and Chris are the only ones really drinking to mount anything. And um, oh, now, well, I would argue with you on that, one, Wes. Because <laughs> uh, he's uh, uh, at an uh, Italian restaurant. Uh, it's a great dish if you do it right. Uh, what? Jesus Christ! <laughs> really? yeah, I, re- I remember the first time I was in love. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, 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 to to finish things up here, first I'm going to ask. Uh, by the way, Taylor Lake. Do you realize if your middle name is Bill, I would just you would be my favorite person in the whole world. It's Bill. 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 Taylor Bill Bill Lake. Taylor Bill Lake. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's I a Kentucky same, joke. I thought the same thing. I was like, maybe Wes just has a thing for Bills. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. It's, it's a Kentucky joke. It's a Kentucky. Anyway, are, now are you all coming to um um 
vet vet city con. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're coming. We plan on it. Uh, it's just uh, contacting them through email because they haven't gotten through back to us yet. Because we sent them emails and they haven't responded yet. So. Uh, I just, uh, somebody's got to use the bathroom. No, no, we're we're in an office. We're we're gonna have oh. to hop off here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and they didn't know he was actually using it. Anyway, well, Billy, I'm hey, looking Billy. forward to seeing you too. Yeah, you guys take care. Uh, I Billy, love you guys. Love uh, you too, I'll, shoot, I'll shoot you a message if you can't get in on a like a cosplay kind of thing. Like I'll get a couple extra vendor badges or something. Okay, yeah, we would appreciate it because we've emailed them a couple times, you know, trying to get the media thing going, and we haven't got a response yet. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, we'll go the second <laughs> round. I'll, I'll just give me a holler. I'll okay. take it. Good deal. All right. Thank you. Have fun at Sandals. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I'm down to two. Now, um, uh, now, back into our <laughs> now before uh, because uh, Chris got to sit through the last thirty minutes of that with me while they uh, talk movie shit. Um, yeah. Now uh, I know. Uh, now, Chris, of course, now you've, you've you've got some surgical shit coming up. But now, do, right. uh, do you have any um, conventions or anything scheduled? Um, I'm not breaking loose. Yeah, I'm getting a hip replaced. You know, that shows how fucking old I am. Um, January 16th, and so I'm kind of laying low after that for a while. You know, do some shows here and there. But I'll be at the Hanukkah in Omaha, Nebraska, on March 23rd. With uh, Dustin Perry is the the highlight, you know, the the big star for that, and lots of other good folks there. So, be good to catch up with our friend Dustin. And then May eighteenth, I'll be at the Malvern uh, Manor with uh, Josh Hurd and lots of other good folks. We're gonna have an event there. Um, June twenty eighth and 29th, I will be at the Hinsdale House with. Uh, we have two two nights there. We'll be having events both nights. With Brian J. Kano, or another friend of ours, and Dan Class, and so those are the big ones I've got coming. I've got a lot of other stuff coming you know, in between, but um, so yeah. And then of course the Scarefest, you know, always I'm there every year. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do serial killers <laughs> this year, brother. I I am in I'm in to the to the what they want. In other you know, words, I you've listened to, to my advice to everyone. I listened to your advice, and I told Amber I was gonna do. See now, what most people don't know. I have a degree in criminal justice and a degree in social justice. And so I used to study serial killers. That's part of my college stuff. And so social it's kind justice? of fun to get back into it. Yes. Social justice? Something Kentucky doesn't know shit about. Okay, you now, have a degree in except social Medi- justice? You have a med- good Medicaid program. Though. I will oh, that. my God. <clears throat> what? That, that's like right up there with like art history. Yeah, or animal husbandry or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. And so... <laughs> so <clears throat> I will be doing a uh, a talk at um, if Amber Grant. Wait, me, wait, wait, would... wait a minute, what? wait a minute. What if we do what? our talk again? Can I bill you as the social justice warrior? The social justice warrior, and only you would see that as a bad <laughs> thing. Shall we go Actually, into I would, this? I would call further? it more. I would call it more of a cliche, but yeah. whatever. I can think of some cliches, but see, I stay away from that thing. So I'm a nice guy. <laughs> So okay. Um um um. Uh, but, 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 yeah, that's why. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so once Chris heals up from Love his old part. age surgery, he'll he'll be around everybody, and uh, that's pretty much what we got for the show. This has been the holiday train wreck episode. It's like what we do every year. Uh, this year might have been worse than usual. I don't know, but I want to thank everybody. Oh, incidentally, incidentally, uh, Dustin Perry that he mentioned. I got some pool people. He's already contacted me wanting to come on my new show. Because he Your new show? Okay, show. okay. Your new because, show. I've been, I've been ragging you about doing another show. Okay, let's see. Let, let's me, let's let me finish the sentence. Because he's not like a... He, has, he doesn't keep up with what I do. So because he sees me posting about one show, he assumes it's new and not the one I've been doing for four freaking years. That being said, Dustin Perry will be on... Very, very, very soon, and um, and we we will continue our um, tradition of not talking about anything that has any interest in any of his fans, 
Like goats yes, and trees, we yes. Yeah, like goats. We will talk about oh, I they guarantee can, you the topic they did of the goats. They talk about goats for 20 minutes. I swear to yeah. God. Goats and will people, come I mean, up. their chat room's blowing up. Everybody's going crazy, and you're talking about goats. That's what we do. Everybody, I do want to stop and wish you a Happy New Year, a Merry Christmas, and yes, it we're like moving right on with the show. Um, we got... Basically, expect January 4th, we're trying to work out, it's going to be a two-hour show. It's going to be a two-hour show, everybody. We're getting a horror somebody for the first hour, which I keep, getting first teased, hour. I keep getting teased with. And uh, 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 Michelle Wagner will be our paranormal guest oh. for the second hour. So see, Good. we have like a plan. And um, uh, Love Michelle. Yep. Michelle's good people. <laughs> Michelle's good people. She is. I'm gonna tell you, you said that <laughs> that you doubted her integrity. I in don't her, doubt her integrity. I just think and that she wasn't a, a good person. That that is just, that's that's just, that's like Fuck. something I'm that my the, grandfather would her, say. I'm telling her right now. What what'd you call her mom again, Wes? Yeah. What was it last time we were hanging out? I don't know her mother. Dear Michelle, unless <laughs> it's a turd, <laughs> text me back, Chris. So, everybody, I hope you did enjoy tonight's show. Busted. Uh, it, it's something we do every year. So now you got to wait, wait like 12 months. I don't know what the date will be next year, but we will do it again just because it's impossible to get a guest right before New Year's Eve. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in.